Jack. Jack, can I, can I see it for a minute? Yeah. Um, Jack, I'd like to ask you something. Well, that was a good show, isn't it? Fine show, but I'd like to ask you something. Those Smothers brothers are really funny. They're funny, they're great, but I'd like to ask you something, Jack. How long have we been in this business? You and I, how yeah. long? Yeah, how long have we been in show business? You mean counting radio? Counting everything. Radio, vaudeville, court jesters, the works. <laughs> well, let's see, I'd say 80, 85 years. And I've been in it. That's Bosa. <laughs> Eighty years together. All right, don't bite my head off. Now, how long would you say the Smothers Brothers have been in this business? I don't know, six or seven years, maybe eight. Uh -huh. Then what are we doing here? Why are we working for them? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, last week their agent called up, made a firm offer. I got him to throw in car fare. And <laughs> Jack, Jack, you're not getting the message. Us working for these kids is like General Eisenhower working for Goma Pyle. <laughs> it's not right. It's like Maria Callas studying under Mrs. Miller. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I mean, what went wrong? Nothing went wrong. It's just the times change. Do you realize that half of the people in the country are under 25? That many? Yeah. yeah. And if we're going to be a hit in show business today, we've got to appeal to youngsters. Well, I'm game, George. What do you have in mind? Well, I don't know yet, but we've got to get a new image of energy and youthful vitality. What do you say, Jack? Well, George, we'll do it, but first I have to take my nap. <laughs> I think I'll lie down with you. No, then come on. Boy, has she got the most beautiful voice you ever... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were sleeping. I uh, didn't know you were asleep. I just said... Oh, no, no, I was just resting my eyes. I, I heard every note she sang. It has yeah. a lovely voice. Yeah, I'll say. You know, Mr. Benny, right. you're... Mr. Benny, you're probably one of the... Of all the people I know, Mr. Benny, you're probably really... Well, look, you, you, you don't Mr. have Benny. to, wait a minute. You don't have to keep calling me Mr. Benny. You can call me by my first name. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam Benny. Well, Sam, you know something? I've been watching some, you know the famous, the famous take of yours? You know that one that everybody that everybody remembers and everybody waits for with an excited anticipation. And then when you do that famous take of yours, everybody laughs and they laugh. And as long as you, they won't stop laughing until you stop doing that take. It's a take. It's you mean real... you mean you mean this one? <laughs> that the one? No, it wasn't that one. What? <laughs> no, not that one. Gee, I wonder which one he made. That's it. <laughs> Every time I see you do that, it just cracks me up. I laugh and laugh and fall apart. <laughs> oh, I think about that. That I don't understand at all. I can't figure that out. You're, um, you're some help. We're supposed to be figuring out a way to appeal to teenagers. Oh, well, let's see. We have to appeal to teenagers. That's right. Well, maybe we could get acne. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I could get acne. Huh? I played acne. <laughs> I was closed in acne. <laughs> Look, maybe we could buy two motorcycles. Oh, that's ridiculous, buying motorcycles. We could rent them. <laughs> And at least, you know, till we see if it works. Maybe we could talk like the Beatles. No, that's already old-fashioned. Wait, hold it, Jack. I think I got it. You have? Yeah, I know exactly what we should do. It's young and it's modern. Jack, I promise you, if Tom and Dick go for this, we've got it made. Good. Now let me take another take nap. Take a little nap. I'll lie down. <laughs>